Welcome back everyone. So while using Windows 10 or 11, there comes a time when your PC or laptop is creating a lot of problems like not responding, working very slow, or sometimes even you stuck on any kind of blue screen or you have the startup problem. And during such scenarios, the best option that you find is resetting or reinstalling the windows. But again, you are scared of losing your data. But today in this video, I will be sharing two best ways to reinstall windows without losing any of your data application or settings in 2024. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now the first method is very simple and very easy. You need to right click on the windows icon. Then you will have to click on settings. And then from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on windows update. And here make sure that your windows is up to date. Then you have to click on advanced options. Then below look for the recovery option. Click on it. All right. So now here you get different option that says fix problem without resetting your PC. So basically this is a kind of a troubleshooter that you used to get on a different location. And if you click on it, then you get all these kind of options that you can troubleshoot. All right. Now we don't have to look for this option. So go back. And you have to look for the one that says fix problem using windows update and it says reinstall your current version of windows your app file and setting will be preserved so you can click on reinstall now and then it will give you a message that says we will repair component in system file if a repair solution is available we will attempt to fix the component corruption by reinstalling the current version of windows your app document and setting will be preserved so you can click on ok and after that, it will be downloading and installing the repair version of Windows 11 and try to fix all your problem. But now in case if this method doesn't work for you, then we can go with the another method that is the most powerful because it will be not using the same version of Windows 11 as we will be downloading the fresh copy of Windows 11 and then we will be reinstalling it without losing any of your data. So close everything, bring up any of your favorite browser and then you have to create a bootable usb of windows 11 or windows 10 whichever you want to reset so for windows 11 you can type download windows 11 iso click on the first link of microsoft then scroll down click on download windows 11 disk image click windows 11 multi edition click on download now choose the product language click on confirm and then click on 64 bit download and the downloading will be started now once the iso get downloaded you have to download the rufu software and from that, you can create a bootable USB. So once you have created a bootable USB, now you need to connect this USB to the computer and start the computer in the BIOS mode so that we can change the boot priority order. So depending on your manufacturer, the BIOS key can be different like F10, Escape, Delete key, F2. So find out the BIOS key restart the computer change the boot priority order and boot with the usb device and then you will find the windows 11 logo so wait for some time until you get the windows installation page okay and here we are now here you have to choose your language currency format then you have to click on next click on install now if you remember your product key then you can enter it or you can click on i don't have a product key and it will automatically detect it choose the windows 11 edition and make sure that you choose the same one so if you were using Windows 11 Pro, then you have to choose Windows 11 Pro only, not any other edition. Check the agreement box, click on next. Now here, this is the most important part. It will ask you which type of installation do you want. So you don't have to go with the upgrade. You have to click on custom. Now once you click on custom, it will list you all kind of partition, all kind of volume. Now here you have to look for the one where your Windows is already been installed. And that I believe you can easily find out with the size of the C drive. So on my end, you can see drive zero, that is a partition three. It contains 63.1 gigabyte and the free space is 21.4 gigabyte. The rest of them are in the MB. So I'm very sure this is the one that is my C drive where my windows has been installed. In case if you are confused and if you have connected any kind of external drive, any kind of USB drive, then you can disconnect it and again check back again. All right, so find out the partition where your Windows is being installed. Select the same partition and then you need to click on next. And it will say 
if the partition you have chosen contains file from a previous windows installation this file and folder will be moved to a folder name windows.old so this is another indication that you are trying to install the windows on the same partition where windows was being already installed all right so now click on okay and the windows installation will be started so again you have to wait for some time only until it's all being done okay bingo now you can see that windows 11 has been finally reinstalled and this is the latest version of windows 11 because we downloaded the iso from the cloud that is the latest version so all kind of problem that you had before it will be surely fixed now all right so now the next question you might be having that where is my data few of the data few of the file and folder you can find on the desktop is still they exist now for the another data that you can't find over here you will have to bring up the file explorer click on this pc go to the local disk c and now here you will find a new folder by the name windows.old just make a double click on it then you have to click on users then click on the user account that you had on the previous version of windows 11 now here you will find all the location like your music folder download videos onedrive so wherever you have the data now you can find all the data inside this particular location so from here only now you can copy all these data and you can move it to the new user account so let's say if you have any data in the download section then you can open the download copy the data from here then from the left hand menu option you will find the new location of your download new user account click here and paste the data over here so there will be little work around that you will have to do but of course you will be getting all your data back nothing will be erased and once you are done taking your data back up again you can go back and delete this windows.old folder that has been created so that you can save the space occupied by this new folder so that's all guys for today these were the best two methods to reinstall the windows 11 or windows 10 without losing any of your data file or application and hopefully guys you find this solution useful if you have do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye